So, the past year hasn't exactly been the best time for movie theaters the world over. Rather, in most countries, the COVID-19 crisis has wreaked havoc on national box offices. One-time moviegoers are understandably wary of packing themselves into sealed rooms with strangers for two hours or more, and for the first months of the pandemic, many theaters were shut down altogether. Projected 2020 blockbusters like Marvel's Black Widow or DC's Wonder Woman 1984 have been indefinitely delayed. Famed director Christopher Nolan insisted on releasing his film Tenet to theaters, claiming it would revitalize the industry. Instead, it made a meek $55 million total domestically. Comparatively, the director's previous film, Dunkirk from 2017, made $188 million in the US and Canada. There is one country, however, where things are currently looking very different. Japan. Proof positive of the still active potential of the Japanese box office is the meteoric rise of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba the movie Mugen Train. This mouthful of a movie title represents the first film for the mega popular Demon Slayer series, based on the best-selling manga by Gotoge Koyohara and originally published in Manga Kingmaker weekly publication Shonen Jump. As of this writing, the anime film, released on October 16th, has seen record-breaking success in Japanese theaters. As of November 9th, Demon Slayer has amassed a stunning 20.4 billion yen, approximately 197.9 million US dollars. In the era of COVID, this places the movie as the world's ninth highest grossing film of the year, and it looks to soon overtake DC's equally laboriously named Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Hello Mina and welcome once again to Unseen Japan. I'm Noah Oskow and in addition to my work here at UJ and what seems like a thousand years worth of Japanese translation work, I also used to provide research and data on the Japanese box office to a stats company in Hollywood. In other words, I'm not just a huge Japanese film geek, I actually have some professional background here, too. Needless to say, the Japanese box office is always something I enjoy watching, and right now we're witnessing something especially interesting. By the way, if you like our content, please consider giving us a like, a subscribe, or maybe even supporting us on Patreon. But anyway, let's get right into it. On with the show, and sasoku hajimeyo. On the international front, this is a bit of a shock. Despite having one of the largest movie industries in the world, which as of 2010, ranked fourth for the number of films produced, the Japanese movie-going audience isn't quite as robust as one might imagine. The country has more or less half the population of the USA, and in 2019, the Japanese box office recorded a total of 261.2 billion yen, which is around 2.5 billion dollars USD. A massive sum to be sure, but a far cry from the domestic US box office total of 11.4 billion dollars for the same year. People in Japan simply don't go to the movies as much. Additionally, movies just aren't as much of a topic of everyday conversation, save for the occasional true cultural breakout. For example, back in 2017, the film One Cut of the Dead represented something along these lines. Given all this, it's exceedingly rare to see a Japanese film end up on the worldwide top 10 grossing list. Last year, for example, Shinkai Makoto's Weathering With You, or Tenki no Ko, his follow-up to his massive hit Your Name, managed to rake in a regionally impressive $193 million worldwide, but came in a distant 46th place in global ticket sales for the year. Indeed, in 2019 terms, Demon Slayer itself, despite its massive haul, would currently only sit at 43rd, barely outpacing the theatrical Downton Abbey outing. Oh, what an invigorating prospect. Demon Slayer, however, has yet to be released outside of Japan, and likely still has some gas in the tank both domestically and internationally. So clearly, the incredible rank Demon Slayer currently holds on the world stage for 2020 is thanks, of course, to it being, very specifically, a 2020 release. The rest of the world is, rightfully, eschewing movie theaters, and most major releases have been delayed or consigned, like Mulan, Bill & Ted 3, or Borat 2, directly to streaming. Compared to the vast majority of countries, however, Japan remains nominally on the low side when it comes to COVID danger. These past few days have seen rises in case numbers which rightfully worry those in Japan, 
but which would honestly be the envy of most countries in the Americas or in Europe. So, movie theaters remain open and even fairly safe in Japan. Not only that, but foreign film releases, which, whether subbed or dubbed in Japanese, usually take up a significant portion of theater screens, have slowed to a crawl. So, movie theaters are open for business and Japanese films own the screens. The scene was set for a hot new property, or maybe one following up on a massive cultural hit to come in and go, financially speaking, to town. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba began life in Weekly Shonen Jump magazine in late 2016, with a well-regarded anime adaptation following in 2019. The anime series produced by studio Ufotable was particularly praised for its high-quality animation. Its story, set in the Taisho era, which is 1912-1926, centers around protagonist Kamado Tanjiro, who becomes a titular demon slayer after his family is massacred by a demon and his younger sister is transformed, vampiric-like, into a demon herself. The manga and anime have become a huge phenomenon, and the anime sequel film was expected to do well accordingly. Now, unlike most anime films belonging to popular TV franchises, this film is not a new story created solely for the theaters, but is in fact the continued adaptation of the manga, covering content from volume 7 and 8. The film's rise, however, has gone far beyond even optimistic estimates. Following its October 16th release, it took a mere 10 days in theaters to rake in 10 billion yen in proceeds. This represented a new record. The current first and second most profitable theatrical Japanese films in local history, Studio Ghibli's Spirited Away and the aforementioned Your Name, both took over three weeks to do the same. Having spent less than a month in theaters, Demon Slayer is already the fifth most successful film in Japanese box office history. Rocketing past the likes of Miyazaki Hayao's Princess Mononoke, and Howl's Moving Castle, now ranked 7th and 8th for historical sales, as well as the hugely profitable but still somewhat forgotten live-action Bayside Shakedown 2, itself the highest grossing domestic live-action film of all time in Japan, and the foreign mega-hits of the Harry Potter film franchise. Only four films remain beyond Demon Slayer, Shinkai's Your Name, the international monster hit Frozen, Titanic, which itself spent many years as the biggest international box office hit of all time, and Miyazaki's Spirited Away. Still the uncontested king of the Japanese box office since its release in 2001. Demon Slayer still has a chance to overcome some of these. Your Name, Frozen, and Titanic all sit around 6 billion yen or 57 million dollars ahead, although Spirited Away still has over 10 billion yen on the movie. Either way, Demon Slayer is now the third biggest Japanese film of all time in its own domestic box office, and could easily take number two in the next week. This is especially impressive for an anime franchise film. These often do quite well, with Detective Conan, Doraemon, Kran Shinchan, and One Piece films often settling into annual top 10 spots. Despite the popularity of these franchise anime films, however, Demon Slayer is the only such film currently in Japan's top 40 all-time box office rankings. Truly quite a feat. Speaking to the Mainichi newspaper, film journalist Otakahiro had the following to say regarding why Demon Slayer has been able to gain such unprecedented success. Everything about this film's run is out of the ordinary. The multiplex system involves concentrating on showings of popular movies and with that in mind, the industry initially had high expectations that the Demon Slayer film would make 10 billion yen. But with that said, in the past there would be considerations about its balance with other movies. This time, there are no other films like it out, and consequently there's a focus on its showings. Now, despite the incredible success seen here by Demon Slayer, and in the past few years by the films of Shinkai Makoto, it is the films of the world-renowned studio Ghibli and director Miyazaki Hayao in particular, which still remain synonymous with box office success. The vast majority of Ghibli's 22 films have ranked as the top domestically produced film of whatever year they're released, and both Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke have held the title of most successful Japanese film of all time. 
Additionally, Howl's Moving Castle and Ponyo are or have recently all been in the all-time top 10, and The Wind Rises is currently the 24th of all time. Six of the top 10 anime films of all time in Japan come from Ghibli. As such, any time another anime film sees similar success, reporters begin attempting to reach out to Miyazaki. They want to know how he feels about any potentiality of being financially overthrown. Earlier this week, said reporters laid in wait outside of Miyazaki's Tokyo home, waiting to pounce when the 79-year-old man stepped outside to take out the trash. In the early morning, as the elderly yet spry Miyazaki, mask affixed, walked to the communal trash cans, the reporters stepped out from the shadows. Demon Slayer's earnings are approaching those of Spirited Away. How do you view this? Well, I think it has nothing to do with me. It's more peaceful for those of us who make these films if we don't have much to do with box office returns. All we have to do is put our all into making the films themselves. Have you seen Demon Slayer? I have not. I haven't seen most things. I don't watch TV or movies. I'm just an old retired fart taking out the trash. Miyazaki may claim to be retired, but he's still currently working fastidiously towards the completion of his newest film, How Do You Live? There are some fans of Spirited Away who think it's unfortunate that it'll lose its historic number one spot. Who really cares about that? After all, inflation continues to go up around the world. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take out the trash. Ah, uh, the joys of being Japan's most famous creative. For those who followed Miyazaki's career closely, this response should come as no surprise. The director tends to pay little attention to such mundanities as, for example, being able to claim to be the most successful Japanese director of all time. His responses to similar questions over the years have usually contained a comparable combination of zen and curmudgeonliness. Despite this, commentators continue to assume ulterior motives. For example, many have claimed that it was the success of Shinkai's Your Name which spurred Miyazaki out of retirement and towards making his new film. Although Your Name has become the most successful Japanese film of all time, in terms of worldwide gross, it still trails behind Spirited Away in its own domestic box office. However, Miyazaki rarely seems quite this petty. There is no recording of him equivalent to, say, that of George Lucas's self-piteous lamentations that his new Star Wars film would never catch Titanic at the box office. There's no way to know what's going to happen. You know, we're never going to beat Titanic. Nobody can. I don't think that's... that's it. Can you explain that? Nobody can. I, it's one of those things. It just happens. It's like what Star Wars did when it first did it. It just it defies reality. You, you just never know on these things. I did more American Graffiti. It made 10 cents. In any case, the question may be a moot one. Whether or not Demon Slayer will catch up to Spirited Away is yet to be seen. Many Ghibli killer films have risen over the past two decades, but none have even really come that close in the end. Inflation or no. Still, this is a particularly unique moment for the Japanese and international box offices. Demon Slayer may just be the right film at the right time, and even if not, its success has certainly been remarkable. Alright everybody, thanks for listening to this brief episode of Unseen Japan. In the next few weeks, I imagine we'll actually be finding out whether or not Demon Slayer crosses the line and continues to overtake the remaining few Japanese movies at the box office. Whether or not it will overtake Spirited Away is something I'm very interested in. As a huge fan of Studio Ghibli and Miyazaki, there's a part of me that's glad he's been able to maintain that rank for so long. After all, Spirited Away is one of the best animated films ever. But if Demon Slayer can do it, well, it's going to make for an interesting story. In any case, uh, we'll be covering more of this sort of topic soon, as well as getting back into some in-depth historical video essays uh, coming in the next week or two. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and if you like what you heard, give us a like and subscribe, and as I said, maybe even support us on Patreon. It's how we're able to produce this sort of content, and any support you could give us would be highly, highly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Mata ne.